Hi guys, I miss Ruba. Um, now today, today I want to record a special video, and then I want to do just two things, maybe one thing, um, which is which is uh, um, um, request or propose um, support, financial support for the processes that we've embarked on uh, on, on on teaching um, Vera. So that's one thing, and then and then the second thing is I'll play I'll play a demonstration of Nemam Sasa and if I manage the Nemam Sasa basis incorporated in that Kutsinira um, playing. Now, so 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 the first thing um, I've, I've I've enjoyed the process um, that that we've had um, until now. Um, so it's it's a little more than a year since since I started teaching, um, and we've done two songs, seven lessons on Fungu Paruzeva. And then 25 lessons on Nemam Sasa, um, Kushaura, singing, Tsinira, Yepasi, Nemam Sasa bases. And so that's 25 lessons plus seven on, on Fungu Parozeva. Um, but in addition to that, I've been um, throwing some material um, of performances. So, for example, the jam sessions that I've done with Aveza Umakombe and Dalan Chigwedere or what I've recorded um, the Tirikwati family playing. Um, they, they are my good friends. Um, or some examples from Sekewa Jingoza, uh, Matemai, and other people, other people that I've come across. I'm um, all in the um, um, process of developing, developing this YouTube channel. Um, so it's exciting. It's exciting. YouTube has given us a platform to interact and, and I'm really excited and, and encouraged um, by communicating with people um, not just here in South Africa where I am or Zimbabwe where I'm from but we've um, extended our tentacles all over Africa. I communicate with people in Ghana, people in Kenya, people in Nigeria or people who have interest um, in, in Bira, people in Namibia um, who've gone to order and buy instruments from Tirikoti for example communicate with people in Europe, in Germany, in the United Kingdom, in, in faraway places such as Poland. Um, I get comments from people in the US, in Australia, and and I assume, you know, um, now that we're at 1,000 subscribers, you know, um, even even beyond the countries that I've mentioned. And, and so it is exciting that YouTube has given us this platform um, to engage for me to upload material and teach um, whoever is interested in, in, in learning Bira and, and it has been my honor and my pleasure um, to, um, to do that. Now, so, so I, I, I'm really appreciative um, of the YouTube um, platform. Um, it has its limitations. Um, it has its limitations. Uh, for now, it is um, designed for us to upload materials. And then, and then if there is a very large subscriber base, you may make a little money um, from YouTube. So from my understanding, um, it, it pays something like one to three or maybe five dollars per 1,000 views. We have 1,000 subscribers. For any of our videos to get to 1,000 views, it's six months um, or even a year. And, and, and up to now, my channel is not monetized. It won't make anything, even if it is monetized, to show um, advertisements. Um, and the truth is, the frank truth is that I've not made anything um, from YouTube. So, so YouTube is an excellent platform that allows us to engage and I would want to continue um, engagement, a global engagement um, for Mbira enthusiasts. Um, but our community is a niche community, a very small community. And then I don't expect that anytime soon we'll be able to monetize or get any financial gain directly um, from YouTube. But there are costs um, involved uh, involved in this. You know, if you look at the YouTube videos, they're getting more and more professional and, and we would need to, to remain relevant, we would need to move in that direction, professionalize um, the quality of our videos, um, see, start, um, start adding um, things, editing, uh, subtitles and, and a few things that we can do to professionalize the teaching uh, materials. Some of the best um, some of the best uh, videos in terms of response have been the videos that I've collaborated um, with my teachers, uh, my teachers such as Garkai Tirkoti, uh, or the singing lesson from Matemai, or the demonstration of Nima Musasaye Pasi um, from um, Sekiwa Chimoza. And, and, and these are people who do this um, full time. And then frankly, if we are going to improve our teaching materials through such collaborations, we, we have to find a way to compensate um, those who assist us um, in the in the 
um, in the development of such uh, materials. Now, uh, all, all, all I'm making is a, is a small argument that there are costs that are involved and we would need to compensate um, some people. I'm starting with me, the primary teacher. I think I have 70, 80% of the material. Um, but where I feel we can improve the teaching materials through collaboration, be able to compensate Peso Makombe, Garigai Teriko team, Sekiwa Chingodza, and be able to compensate um, the person who helps us record um, the videos as well as um, other hands that we can incorporate in the, in the editing. So there is a need for some, some, financial, um, some financial investment. I've already said that I don't expect we can get anything directly from YouTube. I've looked at the models that are used by others. Others use YouTube just to sort of advertise and then they pull you um, to some website where you have to subscribe um, a monthly subscription or other subscription to get additional materials or to sell you a CD or to sell you a teaching DVD. Um, and then, of course, there are many who continue to do local teaching, which is, um, of course, restricted in that the audience has to be local, you know, pretty much in the area where, where you live. So, so when I look into the future, I, I would want to continue on YouTube, uh, making the materials public. It's a way of disseminating our materials. It's a way of documenting uh, my teaching um, approach. Um, it's a way of it's a way of documenting um, Zimbabwean Vira and, and broader culture um, that we discuss. And I think it is in the interests of me and many others that we continue with this as, as a public. Um, forum um, and the only missing thing to cover some costs and, and get ways of compensating um, those involved is this to ask for some contributions so I've, I've opened up a PayPal account um, the PayPal account I'm inserting the link in the in the description of the video and then I'm requesting small contributions um, from those of you that find this material useful um, that see the bigger picture um, of where we may go um, with these uh, teaching teaching materials. Um, so a small contribution from many people ends up being substantial. Um, if there are those with capacity, uh, I'll also accept uh, bigger bigger contributions. Um, but the purpose of this video is is really um, to ask for contributions. Now you can contribute at the end of a series of lectures like now when we've completed Nemam Sasa some 25 video lessons. Um, alternatively, you can contribute a small amount video by video and um, that can also direct your money so that if we do a collaboration with Bezel and you do your contribution then, then we can channel all those funds um, to, to the teacher, um, the collaborator who will have um, assisted us. So that's the purpose of the video. Um, thank you very much for this journey. It's exciting. We want to continue with a global audience. Um, but there are things that we may need money for and then I'm requesting your support through the PayPal account that um, I've opened. And then I'll do a short demonstration. Um, holding a Matema Imbira, it is, it is a Dinitza. Um, Matema passed away last month and I've pulled out his Imbiras, I've been playing them and they've fallen in love again um, with these uh, Matema instruments. So this is Nemam Sasako Tsinira. 